Okay, next I'd like to look at problem 2.1. sorry, 2.2 uh, from Gaskell. And uh, in this one, we're taking one mole of monoatomic ideal gas and we're given the uh, initial temperature, 273, let's call this T1, K, okay. one atmosphere. And we're going to take it through a series of, oh, here, n equals one mole. And we're going to take it through a, a series of uh, exp uh, expansions. Uh, first, we're going to double the volume at constant pressure. Uh, then we're going to double the pressure at constant volume. And finally, we're going to return, but we're going to return along a, a path in the pressure volume space that's specified by an equation. So uh, we gotta start out here by figuring out the volume. And we have uh, PV equals NRT. So V1 is equal to NRT over P. And that is uh, 22 point Four zero one six liters. So we've got an initial volume to work with. And uh, all along this path, we're going to look at the change in the, uh, the heat that flows into the system, the work that's done uh, on the system. So uh, path A is uh, V2 is equal to 2 V1, P2 is equal to P1. So we're gonna hold the pressure constant. Uh, the temperature does change though. So we have uh, delta T is equal to, uh, well, P is constant, so P, over n r delta v. Um, so we got a change in the temperature now. And let's see what else we have here. We got uh, well. Let's get the uh, let's get the the work first. The work is going to be the easy one because here work is equal to P delta V is equal to P1 uh, well V2 which is 2 V1 minus V1 and we've got our value for V1 up here and we got our value for P1 there and again we need to use our conversion factor for a uh, joule per atmosphere liter and this will give us well darn this will give us w from state one to state two of two two Seven zero joule. Okay. Um, next, 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 next. Uh, Q. Right. Well, this is a uh, constant pressure. which means that we're going to get the change in the internal energy due to the change in temperature using the constant pressure heat capacity. And uh, 
right? We've got our uh, CP is that is right. QDT. Uh, for this particular problem, we're given that the molar constant volume heat capacity is 1.5 R. And we know that CP minus CV is equal to R, which means CP is equal to R plus 1.5 R is equal to 2.5 R. Okay, so Q, oh, come on. Q is equal to CP times delta T, which is P over N R uh, delta V. And we've got in here uh, for the CP, we have uh, 2.5 R and using uh, R, which is the proper quantity here. Or actually, they should cancel each other out, shouldn't they? Yeah, so these cancel. So we get uh, Q is equal to 2.5 P over N. Well, N in this case is one. So we get 2.5 P Delta V. Okay, so that is uh, two point five times one ATM times uh, two times two twenty two point twenty two point four. Minus twenty two point four. That's the liters, and then we have to multiply this by one hundred one joule per atm l. So we get Q is equal to five six five six joule. Okay. Step B, is a constant volume. So V2, uh, V3 is equal to V2. Uh, and uh, we double the pressure. So Vp3 is equal to P1 times two. Okay, doing this, So doing this, there's no change in the volume, right? So we're not doing work to the system at all. But increasing the pressure does increase the energy. And this is a constant volume. So we're looking at the change in temperature due to the uh, increase in uh, temperature. And that increase in temperature corresponds to the change in pressure. So du is equal to CV OK, 
okay, CV, uh, this is gonna be a PV equals NRT. So to uh, V, that's P over NR, so that's one. Okay, so that gives us uh, V delta P over R. And that is uh, one point five R V delta P over R. R is cancel, so we get one point five times V delta P. And this delta P is uh, well, our delta P we know is doubling the pressure, and this V. Remember, we're going from the second state to the third. So this is V2. So DU is equal to 1.5 times V2, which is uh, well, double that. So that's going to be 44.8. liters times uh, two P one minus P one or P one, I think was uh, one atmosphere. So we're gonna put in uh, one ATM. And in order to get our units right, we have to multiply by 101 joule per, uh, sorry, liter atmosphere. Okay. And when you do that, you wind up with Q Jules. Okay, good. Now, third process down here. C is traveling along the state it's equal to six point six four three times ten to the minus four v squared plus zero point six 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 seven. So we're gonna use that as a particular pathway to travel. And when doing that, we can get the work immediately, which is the integral from the, uh, call this, call this uh, V3 to, V4, and in this case, V4 is the initial state, so that's V1, and V3, V3 is V2, so we're basically taking back to the, uh, from the V2 back to the original volume, and P dV, so this is the integral from V2 to V1 of P is a function of V dV. And then, of course, 
all of this times one zero one joule per atmosphere liter. And this gives us W is equal to minus three, two, seven, nine joule. Okay, now we want the change in heat, but we're not gonna get that directly. We're gonna have to get that using du is equal to q minus w. But this is the uh, number that the problem's asking for. And in this case, In this case, we're going to get uh, du is equal to well cv delta t. We have uh, R that's one that is one point five R, so these R's cancel. And then this delta P V is uh was going back to V one P one. And it's coming from the state 2v1 to p1, right? Because we double the volume and then we double the pressure. Times 101 joule per ATM liter. Which is minus 10. Two one four joule. So Q is equal to du plus W is equal to one three four nine three joule. So we got U and Q. Or sorry, a Q and, and W. 